Today we are looking at the top 10 most valuable comics published by DC Comics for the year 1957. They've got some really big books on this list. Before we jump in the top 10, let's look at all the new titles that debuted for DC in 1957. They definitely did not uh, push the market with too many new titles as they already had many hits. You'll see they only started eight new titles in the entire year. The first four, including G.I. Combat and Blackhawk, were actually quality comics titles that DC took over all in the month of January 1957. And out of that, G.I. Combat would run 245 issues for DC Comics, one of the big hits for them this year. They also started a Sergeant Bilko series based on the TV show, and they also changed the title of the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis title to Just Adventures of Jerry Lewis. So now let's dive into the top 10 most valuable and historically important DC Comics of the year. In number 10 of the year, it also ranks 147th of the decade for DC. Detective Comics 239, of course, features Batman and Robin in every issue. This is an early DC gray tone covered issue, which are very popular with collectors. And we have a robot cover by artist Sheldon Moldoff. On the CGC census, this issue is quite tough to find. Only 43 copies have ever been graded by CGC in all conditions combined. There's only one super high grade copy grading 9.0 or higher on the CGC census. Heritage Auctions has only sold 12 copies in the last 21 years of this book. Classic DC book, 10 cent cover price at this time. Using the Overstreet price guide, we can look at the prices of all different grades and conditions from a year-by-year -year, uh, perspective. And we can see that the book had a bit of a bump in all grades in the last year. It's a fairly expensive book at $1,550 for a raw 9.2 high-grade copies. But even the lowest grades, it's now a $100 book. And on the census, the highest graded copy is a 9.0. The number 9 DC comic of the year is also Detective Comics number 241. This is Rainbow Batman featuring Batman in a whole bunch of different colored costumes. This has become a major key issue in only the last year. Ruben Moriera art on this book ranks 9th of the year, 136th of the decade, 74 copies now graded by CGC. There are no high-grade copies of this book ever graded. Heritage has sold 22 copies. That's basically one copy a year. On the census, the book has gone crazy. It has almost tripled in a single year. Huge demand all of a sudden for this book. $129 in the lowest grade raw. It's now a $2,000 book in 9.2 raw. And there are three copies graded 8.5 as the highest copies on the CGC census. The number eight comic of the year also is a Batman related book. It's Batman 105. This is the first Batwoman appearance in this specific title and her second appearance ever. And there she is on the cover in this Trojan horse cover. Sheldon Moldoff did the cover art and Irv Novik also did art interior. It's the third most valuable post-code issue of Batman, second most valuable appearance ever of Batwoman, number eight comic of DC for the year, and 112th of the decade. Uh, lots of demand for this book in recent years, so the CGC census is really starting to pick up. 118 copies have been graded, still no high-grade copies at all. Heritage has jumped up to 37 copies as interest gains in this book. And again, it's been a nice steady mover in all grades. You can see in the last 15 years, the book has more than tripled in all grades. And year by year, it's uh, slowly, steadily moving up. And on the census, the highest graded copies, there are two 8.5s. Number seven of the year is GI Combat 44. And remember that DC took over this title from Quality Comics, and this is the first issue, so it's really DC number one with a January 1957 cover date. Ten cent classic action cover, and um, Jerry Grandinetti did this gray tone cover, and Joe Kubert, Russ Heath, and Ross Andrew also did interior artwork, three major artists of the time for DC. Print run estimated at possibly about 240,000 copies for this. This is the 12th most valuable DC War comic ever. On the census, it's sneaking up there, but still fairly low. 40 copies on the census, only one super high-grade copy. Heritage has sold 14 of this book. 
using the overstreet price guide again a nice steady mover always guaranteed to go up a little bit year by year in all grades so in the last decade it has not yet doubled but it's approaching that and on the census they're just by luck is a 9.0 copy grading the highest of this book number six of the year is showcase number 11 and this is the third appearance of the challengers of the unknown who first made their debut in this series and this is jack kirby cover and interior art this predates fantastic four by four years nice action exciting cover from jack kirby there is a 9.6 copy of this on the census which is unbelievable it ranks six of the year 72nd of the decade and the eighth most valuable dc sci-fi book ever print run estimated at 214,000 copies there are 97 copies of this graded a lot more copies a lot more demand four high grade copies 9.0 or higher and heritage has sold 46 of these on the census or the overstreet price guide however it's been stalled for the last six years no movement in price in any condition usually that means there's a bit of hesitance for uh, demand for prices to continue to rise <coughs> which usually means this is a good time to go buy it probably find prices possibly even below guide on ebay if uh, prices have truly stalled on this book there is a 9.6 and a 9.4 of this book very nice copies number five book of the year is showcase number seven this is the second appearance of the challengers of the unknown it's got a robot robot cover by jack kirby yellow background cover on this dime comic 45th most valuable book of the decade print run again estimated at 214,000 copies 81 copies graded by cgc in all grades there are three super high grade copies and heritage has sold 42 of these in the overstreet price guide you can see this is starting to get to be a pretty pricey book it is a 4700 dollars book in 9.2 raw not a lot of movement in low grades at all it's a slow mover but at least it's moving at least every year um, the book is not quite doubled in the last 15 years in high grades and on the census we have a 9.2 and two 9.0s the number four comic of the year is showcase number 10. this is the second issue of lois lane with her own solo title called superman's girlfriend lois lane but superman does appear as a guest which would help sales of course he ranks 36th of the decade we're getting up there number four of the year and it's the 22nd most valuable late 50s DC first appearance book. Print run estimated at 213,000 copies. There have been 145 copies graded by CGC. Only three super high grade ones. Heritage has sold 78 copies of this book. That's averaging four a year. And this is another book that has completely stalled in the Overstreet Price Guide in all grades. There's been no movement for eight years. Why? Basically, again, it's just a pricey book. And there's a bit of hesitancy at this price it's a six thousand four hundred dollar book in high grade on the census there is a 9.4 and two 9.0s the number three comic of the year is showcase number six and we're really getting to the books big books now first appearance and origin of challengers of the unknown this is the first silver age superhero team and the first original concept for a silver age series which again would inspire Fantastic Four four years later. Jack Kirby cover and art, very rare in high grade for this book. First appearance on this dime comic. And on the census, lots of interest. So 176 copies graded, still only three high grade ones. 51 copies sold at Heritage. There is demand, being this a first appearance book and a major important historically book, uh, this one's really growing still year by year. It's at over $11,000 now for a high grade copy. And even the lowest grades are approaching $400. On the census, there are three 9.0s of this book. The number two most valuable comic of 1957 from DC is showcase number nine this is an iconic book i owned a copy of this years ago showcase number nine is the first appearance of superman's girlfriend lois lane not the character but the theme of her getting her own solo book this is an extremely rare book aimed at mostly young and girl readers 
and high grade copies just have not survived of this book. And Lois Lane was the first character from the Showcase series to actually get her own title. It's the number two book of the year, 14th of the decade, very key book, and seventh most valuable key first appearance book. On the census, we've got 197 copies graded by CGC, but only two 9.0 or higher heritages sold 69 copies. This book is starting to pick up again after stalling for a decade. Again, a very expensive book. People want it, but it's just getting pricey. So $14,500 now for a raw high-grade copy, even $700 for a 2.0. There is a 9.2 and a 9.0 on the census. And for sure, the big book everybody wants, the number one most valuable DC comic of 1957 is showcase number eight, the second appearance of the Silver Age Flash. This came out eight months after his first appearance in issue number four, which is the most valuable DC comic of last year. And now The Flash has the number one book again of this year. This book also features the first appearance and origin of Captain Cold. And we've got Carmen Infantino cover art. Classic cover, green background on this dime comic. It's the 10th most valuable DC comic of the entire decade. Number one of the year. Print run estimated 213,000 copies. It's the most valuable, but it's actually the most commonly graded book on the census out of all of these. 255 copies in total graded, but yet again, still only three have popped up in super high grade. Heritage has sold 60 copies. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this book had stalled also for seven years, but the last few years it's been making its way up. It's now a $23,000 book and almost $1,000 even in really beat up condition. On the census, we have two 9.2s and a 9.0. What we're going to do now is compare these 10 books on the CGC census just to see kind of what's out there. So by far, the most graded copy is Showcase 8 followed by Showcase 9. And those are the two big books of the year. So of course, that's what most people want. That's what most dealers are getting graded for potential customers. But looking at the high grade copies, you can see it's really only Showcase 11 that has a 9.6 and uh, oh, even a 9.8, unbelievable. Um, but after that, there's only the odd few copies, right? The grade super high for these books. And again, some of these don't even have any books graded higher than 8.5. And the rarest book on this list based on census stats is GI Combat 44 with only 40 copies graded in all conditions. There you go, the top 10 most valuable DC comics of the year. We do this every week. Please subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.